Hi, I'm Dan Q, this is Demi, and this is the vlog version of my blog post, Dog Person. If, like me, you prefer blogs to vlogs, look around, find the link, and you can read the original version. Or if you prefer videos, or just want to put me in your ears and listen in the background, carry on watching. I am not a dog person. I'm probably more of a cat person. To clarify, when I say dog person, I don't mean anthropomorphic dog like those characters in that weird episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic that I talked about back in 2018. Instead, I mean someone who likes dogs. Like this one. My mum has made pets out of one or both of dogs or cats for most of her life. She describes the difference between the two in a way that really resonates for me. To paraphrase her, when you're feeling down and you've had a shitty day and you just need to wallow in your despair for a little bit, a pet dog will try to cheer you up. It'll jump up at you, it'll bring you toys, it'll suggest you go for a walk, it'll try to pull your focus away from your misery and bring a smile to your face. A cat, though, will just come and sit and be melancholy with you. Its demeanour just wordlessly says, you're feeling crap? Me too. I only slept 16 hours today. Let's feel crap together. So it surprised me, and many people, when earlier this year our family was expanded with the addition of a puppy called Demi. I guess we must have collectively decided that hey, we've solved all the hard problems and the complexities of our work and volunteering and parenting and relationships and money and things. Our lives are completely simple, plain sailing, stress-free all of the time now. So we've definitely got the capacity to handle adding another tiny creature into our midst. Do you see the mistake in my logic? Maybe I should have too. The kids were, and continue to be, absolutely delighted especially our eldest, who'd been mad about dogs for well over half of her life. But it turns out that getting a puppy is a lot like having a toddler all over again. Your life adjusts around when they need to sleep and eat and poop. You need to put in time and effort and thought into how to make and keep your house safe, both for them and from them. And, of course, they bring with them a black hole that eats disposable income. Sure, they're cute when they're asleep, but the rest of the time they're probably destroying things, pooping, or both. They need to be supervised and entertained and educated. You may need some education yourself about how to do that. They need to be socialised so they can interact nicely with others. They need to learn the boundaries of their little world, and they need to learn to behave appropriately, even when they're not on camera. Mm -hmm. Even as they grow, their impact is significant. You need to think more deeply about how, when and where you travel. Work out who's responsible for ensuring they're walked and fed and watched. You've got to keep them safe and healthy and stimulated. Thankfully, they're not as tiring to play with as children. But as with kids, the level of effort required is hard to anticipate until you have one. But do you know what else they have in common with kids? You can't help learning to love them. It doesn't really matter what thing they're illicitly putting in their mouth or how many times you have to clean up after them, how frustrating it is that they can't understand what you need from them in order to help them with whatever it is, or even uh, how much they whine about something that really doesn't matter at all. Am I talking about puppies or toddlers here? It doesn't even matter how much you're you know, not a dog person, whatever that means. They've become part of your family and you fall in love with them. I'm still not a dog person, but while I occasionally resent the trouble she causes, I still love our dog. I've been Dan Q, this has been Demi, and this has been the vlog version of my blog post, Dog Person. Uh, if you look around, you should be able to find a link to the original blog post and you can read it for yourself the way it was meant to be enjoyed. But either way, thanks for listening.